Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I reviewed this uh, 12 volt battery by Evershare uh, recently and it came with this little DC controller box uh, and it has uh, a, a USB-C port and a couple of USB-A ports uh, and that's about it. So it's a nice little addition so if you need to do a quick charge on something that's really small uh, that's perfect. But what if you wanted something a little bit larger. I want you to meet its big brother. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Okay, Intershare has sent me another DC control box, but this one is a 1224 volt power distribution center. Uh, what it has, it has actually two 50 amp Anderson input outputs at the bottom of the controller. It can also support 10 application charging simultaneously at the same time. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, when you first open it, you get a small user manual. You get a very good amount of uh, wiring. And then another Anderson connection to be able to wire into other cables. And here is the control box. And what's nice is this box kind of tells you all the information about this control center. Uh, the voltage, it can accept 12 or 24 volts. The weight is 0.6 kilograms. Uh, the housing material is uh, UL94V ABS plastic. <laughs> I'm not sure what that really means. The dimensions are 90 millimeters wide by 170 millimeters in height and 63 millimeters in depth. Uh, the inlets, we have two 12 or 24 volt 50 amp Anderson connections and the outlets uh, we have one 10 amp cigarette lighter adapter we have two 5 amp DC ports which are these barrel ports right here we have two 2.4 amp USB A's which are right here we have two 18 watt quick charge USB's which are these here the quick charge 3.0's and we have two 45 watt type C USB connections, which are the ones at the bottom. And then we have the two 12 by 24 50 amp Anderson connections for input and output on the bottom. Okay, connecting this thing couldn't be easier. All you gotta do is connect one side with the Anderson connector, and then you connect the other side with these ring terminals to your battery. Your battery just has to have eight millimeter or smaller bolts. And also I measured out this wire that came with it and it is approximately 16 feet. So you have plenty of wire for what you need to do. Okay, I got it wired to the battery. Let's go ahead and plug in the Anderson connector right here. And turn it on. And there we go. And there is a display on there and it shows you the constant voltage of the battery, which is 13, 13 to 13 one. So let's go ahead and test that to make sure it's accurate. And it shows our battery is 13.12. All right, so I would say that's pretty accurate. And then it also has this, uh, this measurement right here, which I'm not really sure what that is, but it looks like a, a, a capacity gauge. I wouldn't go with when it comes to lithium iron phosphate batteries because 13 could be 70% and it could be 40% capacity, so. All right, and just to test a portion of this uh, DC controller box right here, I am gonna plug in this, uh, it's called This Works. It's, a, it's a, basically a car vacuum. I like to use it when I go camping to vacuum out the, uh, the inside of my tent. And this thing is an energy hog. There's only a couple of like portable power stations that will actually power it because it requires so much electricity. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out to see if this will actually run. And we'll see what the voltage does. All right, ready? And you can see that it drops at a half a volt when I turn this thing on because it does take up, I wanna say it takes up like, it runs at 12 volts, 12 volts at 10 amps. So it takes up over 100 watts, you know, almost 120 watts. To power, to power this little vacuum. And this thing, I mean, it didn't care at all. 
All right, so if you're in the market for like a DC controller box, which is something that would be perfect for you know, charging your small devices along with maybe running your little portable refrigerator or in my case, vacuum, vacuuming out your tent. I mean, you can even power something up to 50 amps if you have something that plugs into an Anderson connector at the bottom. Uh, I would say that this, this inner share is a pretty wise choice. It works well and it will deliver plenty of power. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll have a link to this in my description. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.